Ms. Johnson. Here. Ms. Roberts. Here. Mr. Schindler. Here. Mr. Smith. Here. Mr. Young. Here. Mayor Francis. Here. Please join me for the flag salute. <clears throat> Pledge of allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag, flag of the United, the United States, States of America, America and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation, nation under God, under God indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice. And justice. Thank you. Uh, we have proclamations tonight. I'll do that first. <clears throat> this is for one of our Eagle Scouts, nice young man. Whereas Aaron Mood had been part of Boy Scout Troop 88 in a pack on for the past 13 years, Aaron has also proved to be an excellent student with his accomplishments as part of the National Honor Society and the National Technical Honor Society for Engineering. He attends Sussex Tech and will be graduating in June 2021. And whereas Aaron has been accepted and received a full scholarship to attend Fairleigh Dickens University Honors College. And whereas in 2014, Aaron earned his Hour of Light Award as a Cub Scout, he also will be receiving his Eagle Scout Award on April 21st, 2021. His chosen project was Squire Field. He replaced the broken boards on the fence and repainted the rest. He then leveled out the space where the portable bathroom goes. This project took about three weekends and a total of 106.75 volunteer hours to complete. And whereas Aaron has displayed excellent leadership skills throughout the design and execution of his project, he truly emulates what an Eagle Scout represents and he takes pride in knowing his project will serve his community for years to come. And whereas Aaron has a bright future ahead of him, his actions as a young man helping the community proves he will be a creative and productive adult. Now, therefore, I, Michael Francis, Mayor of the Burb of Pacon, hereby proclaim April 22nd, 2021 as Aaron Mood Day. Congratulations, Aaron. Actually, his, his ceremony is tonight, and uh, yeah. I'm going to try to see if I can get down there before everybody goes home and, and congratulate him. But that's another example of one of our wonderful young people and, and you know, you get me started talking about scouting, it's critical, it's crucial that we keep maintaining this and all, all my, my hat, tip my hat to all the adults that, that support scouting and make possible for these young people to achieve Eagle Scout Award. And it, and it starts young and you know, I have I'm having experience with some Cub Scouts and, and the Weeblers were my favorite. And that, uh, even on a good day, they can be very challenging at a meeting, I have to tell you. But it's worth every minute, every second, every hour, and every day that the adults and the parents spend with their kids in scouting. Cannot emphasize how important it is to our community. That bet. Uh, I'll go to committee reports. Don, start with you. I just want to remind everyone that the Journey Bus will be here on Tuesday. Let me get the time up real quick. Sorry about that. From 1 to 3 p.m., their journey bus will be out here in the parking lot in front of the community center. Other than that, um, there's really nothing else I can say at this time. Thank you. Brad, you're up. Yes, Mayor, I'd just like to uh, thank a few people for their valuable assistance during last Saturday's hike, started, which started at the Senior Center. First, I'd like to thank John, uh, Councilman John Young for his discussion of the uh, history of the old Hopakon Golf Club and grounds. Also like to acknowledge John Rafalowski and thank him for his identification of the various tree, trees and invasive species during our hike. Also like to thank Georgia Schilling for uh, information on tick prevention and removal thereof. And uh, lastly, to Jewel Gurman, the uh, chairperson of EC for her putting this uh, together. It was, a, it was a very nice and informative hike. Uh, next, the beautification committee uh, had a meeting and uh, come up with uh, May the 1st and May the 15th when they will in their spring planning at 10 a.m. each Saturday. Uh, anyone in, interested in helping, please feel free to show up at, at Max and Glenn Park. Um, from the community garden center, uh, they still have several plots left 
and they are available to any residents for a uh, for growing a summer uh, garden. Uh, reach out and uh, go on the Community Gardens Facebook page for further information and contact. Uh, the Hometown Hero Banner Program, uh, just a reminder, is a deadline this April 31st uh, for us to gather up everything and have that ready for the Memorial Day event. And in furtherance of that goal, I'd like to take this time to thank Jim Fitzpatrick of the Hope Pack Con uh, Lake Regional News uh, for his promoting the banner program and asking the community at large for any information related, relating to George and Lewis Bartlett, uh, Hopakon brothers who were both killed in World War II. Uh, we will be honoring them as well during our Memorial Day uh, program. And lastly, I'd like to uh, congratulate as a, as a former scout, I know what it takes to get through scouting and get all the different merit badges and stuff. And I'd just like to congratulate Aaron for that great achievement of being a Water and Eagle Scout. That's all, Mayor. Thank you. Rick, you're up. Okay. Uh, I would like to congratulate Aaron also on his Eagle Scout. Uh, congratulations. I know it's a uh, long haul and a lot of work. And uh, it really, uh, uh, the whole process builds fortitude and um, a work ethic that I, I think is really a uh, uh, a great thing for an individual uh, to carry through and use for the rest of his life. So congratulations, Aaron. Um, Real Estate Committee, as you see, we have two final readings on uh, ordinance tonight. Uh, hopefully vote for them. Uh, Real Estate Committee met again, and we have some other uh, properties that hopefully will be coming on uh, in the next uh, meeting or two. And uh, obviously, if anyone knows of a vacant lot, that they are interested in the town owns, please uh, contact Ron Tappan and start some paperwork uh, on seeing if we don't need it. Uh, other than that, uh, that's it. I'll pass it on. Thank you. Thanks, Rich. John, you're up. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, first of all, I also would like to congratulate Aaron. Uh, a wonderful accomplishment. Um, I never made Eagle Scout. I was more in the Sparrow category. Um, but I did absolutely enjoy scouting and still have a lot of fond memories from it. So congratulations, Aaron. That's, that's great. Um, to tag on to um, Councilman Heffercamp, uh, last Saturday was the hike. It was, it was very well attended. It was, it was great. Mr. Raflowski is an absolute wealth of knowledge when it comes to trees and plants, pointed out all different types of tree species as well as plants in including a lot of invasive plants. Um, and from the, also from the Environmental Commission, this Saturday, April 24th, the New Jersey Tree Recovery Free Tree Giveaway, it will be at Burrow Hall from uh, 9 to 12, I believe it is. Um, that's this Saturday at Burrow Hall. Um, <clears throat> from the Alliance, which we're still waiting to put a meeting together, I still haven't heard anything on the countywide hidden in plain sight that was kind of crashed or a while back, it was done on Zoom. Uh, from recreation, uh, they met shortly ago. They had some discussion about their summer learning session. Even though registrations haven't technically opened, they got a small handful of people registered already. Um, that's slated to start the last Monday in June. Uh, they had discussion regarding the concert in the park, which is scheduled for July 10th. That's a Saturday. And also had more discussion regarding Hopakon Days, which is now slated for September 18th. Street hockey opened up last weekend. They had a total, they actually got more than they expected. They had a total of 74 players. And that's the A division only. The gentleman who runs street hockey is not comfortable with the younger division uh, due to COVID and, and all the restrictions thereof. So he's doing the A division, which is grade six through 12. And like I said, they actually got more than they expected. They got 74 players. <clears throat> uh, a side note, at the last meeting, um, there was a nice young lady who was a resident of Opactong and she participates in rollerblading, or I'm sorry, roller derby. Uh, and I got met with her after the meeting, got a wealth of information regarding state parks, 
uh, extreme skate parks in particular. So I have uh, quite a bit of research to do, and I'm, I'm actually looking forward to, to doing that. So um, I, I thank her a lot. Um, and, and I'll be in touch with her again. So that's it, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, John. Ryan, you're up. I don't know why my camera not working tonight, but um, it was just working 10 minutes ago. It's ridiculous. Anyway, I've known Mood since he was probably two or three years old, and it has been quite a pleasure to watch him rise through the ranks of scouting, first in Pack 88 as a Cub Scout, all the way up through Weeblows and Arrow Light. And I'm fortunate to have been around when uh, he went through Troop 88, all the way up to his Eagle Scout. And uh, tonight is Troop 88's uh, award ceremony meeting and his court of honor. So, Mike, you're going to have to cut it short because I think it's already happening right now. I know that uh, Councilwoman Johnson and myself are missing the meeting um, for this meeting. Obviously, this is this is an important meeting, too. But uh, but uh, I, I really I can't say enough things about Aaron. I've known him for a very long time. He's an impressive young man. And uh, I really like to watch him work with the younger scouts because uh, when they get older in scouts, a lot of the times they drop out or drop off. Aaron stuck with it and uh, really became an impressive young man and, and really became a wonderful scout. And I'm so proud, honored to watch him become an Eagle Scout. Uh, so, so congratulations to Aaron tonight. And sorry we're not there. Um, hopefully he'll get to watch this at some point in time on, uh, on a, on a news feed somewhere. But uh, all right, then I'm going to go on to uh, committee reports now that I've uh, waxed poetic about that. Uh, the uh, next uh, Sussex County COVID State of Affairs meeting is this Friday at 10 a.m. Uh, it can be watched virtually. Um, you'll see that, that posted on several websites. One of them is on the easy way to, easiest way to get to that link is to go to the Sussex County Chamber of Commerce website and uh, click on the link there. Um, at the Chamber of Commerce, our next B2B breakfast is... May 11th, and our next Chamber of Commerce meeting is May 14th. I'm over at the Sussex County Municipal Utilities Authority. Uh, the next Sharps Disposal Program Day is uh, May 6th, and uh, the monthly paper shredding for May is on May 21st, and the next e-waste uh, event is on May 22nd. And that's all I have for this evening. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ryan. Jen, you up? All right. Um, I just also was going to say something very similar to Ryan that I know him and I are both missing uh, Aaron Mood's ceremony today, but uh, I wanted to wish congratulations to Aaron. Um, my son is actually getting his scout rank tonight, which I'm missing for this, but hey, you know, we got his dad's there with him, so we're good. But I wanted to wish a huge congratulations to Aaron. It is a tremendous accomplishment. Um, it is a lot of hard work. It is a lot of time. Um, I know his parents were a big help and congratulations to them too. Um, the only committee report that we have is that school is planned to be back in session on Monday, May, uh, April 26th. Oh my God, May, please not May. Um, April 26th. Um, and um, hopefully uh, we will continue in person for as long as possible until the end of the school year. Um, and that's really it. Thank you. Administrative report, Ron. Ron, uh, Mike, I'm going to make it real quick tonight. Um, the only good news I have is that we officially received our care money, our care grant money for COVID relief. Uh, the first round, we were not, we didn't get anything out of it. We weren't eligible for whatever reason, but we have had uh, deposited in our account the second round of CARES money, which over $86,000 was given to us for any reimbursements for code expenses that we went through you know, ranging from uh, PPE requirements to our hydrochloric sprayer to UV lights, et cetera. Um, that money has been received and it's in the account. So with that, congratulations, Aaron. Great job. It's always great to work with you guys. It's fun to watch you guys come in. It really is. And thank you for your support of the borough and the Eagle Scouts and, and, and continue on with the same process. It will teach you to be a professional in the, in the rest of your life, school, and professional life. So, with that, Mayor, I'm done. Thank you. I'll entertain a motion to open public. Open okay. Second. And an opportunity is given to the public for commentary. Comments are limited to one comment of no more than five minutes. All in favor? 
Bye. Bye. All right. Thing, Ron. What? Uh, Heather, you're up. Heather, you're at Windsor Avenue. I still at, waiting for a response back on why we're not doing summer camp this year when there's another program that is using the school. I asked last meeting, but I didn't get a response. That's it. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Mara, you're up. Mayor Modes, you're up. There you go. Okay. I would like to congratulate Aaron for his scouting achievements, but I would also like to uh, not forget that you mentioned he got a full scholarship, which I'm sure scouting helped him help prepare him for. So many congratulations for all his achievements. That's all. Thank you. Next up, Ron. I don't see any, Mike. Entertain a motion to close. I'll bring it back. I guess. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're back. Aye. All right, approval Hello. of minutes. We're not gonna answer the question about camp. That's, that's it. Uh, well, because of, well, because of COVID and because of the long-term planning, we have to do a summer rec. We, we couldn't get a commitment for the school, number one. And if they're having a summer program, it was not to our knowledge at the time that we started planning. So it's, it's a matter, and we, we can't turn on a dime with this because we had a colony uh, and the timing just didn't fit with, with COVID. So uh, there's no way we could, we could do this uh, and not have a commitment from the school, which we didn't early on. So the answer to the question is uh, because COVID doesn't permit us to. And okay, so actually, it would still they're, be. Running the, they're running their team is the answer. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, we were not okay. part of that planning. We were not. We're not part of that process. So if they if they think they're going to run something, that's fine. But it's still an issue, you know. And uh, I always talk about how, how careful we have to be. But the, but the real answer is that we we have to plan far ahead with the school also. That we just didn't have the time to do that. And we have no other place to have camp for the rec department. Not, yeah. not to that extent. It would be very, very limited. It, it wouldn't be, it, we could do something, but it wouldn't be like our normal camp. We have to hire people. We have a manager. There's a, there's a lot of moving pieces. It's just not, well, a person shows up and the kids come in and, and play all day. It's more structured. So we, we does take requires a great deal of planning. Hopefully we can do it next year. But uh, let's see where this COVID thing goes. So, uh, Mike, it, we do have another public that just gave us a hand. Do you want to respond? Well, we closed, but go ahead. That's okay. I'm, I'm just, I'm just asking. Okay, David, you're up. Okay, I had trouble figuring out how to get on. That's why I, I was late okay. getting on. All right. Um, I would like to ask. Uh, I would wish to ask the governing body to go back to the public comment period that we had before. It seemed very satisfactory. I don't understand why we had to have to limit it now to one uh, session and why it has to, and why a citizen can't have a full five minutes to discuss his concerns, why it has to be limited to one topic. Uh, we heard last week, last two weeks ago, we heard about the uh, marijuana situation and these people went on and on and on. And some of them I think were on marijuana. Uh, but that's, uh, uh, but that's, neither, that's not neither here nor there. Uh, if we have some, a few short questions, why shouldn't, and, and it's only 10 minutes to um, eight. Uh, are, do, are we so pressed for time that we have to, and we don't have that many people showing up for these meetings. So I don't understand why, you can't get feedback from the citizenry that are interested in uh, informing you and asking you questions about what's going on in the borough. I last, for example, last week I asked you about the road paving. Uh, you said we'll get back to you. 
No, you never said anything. I, 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 well, that's another concern of mine. If somebody brings a question to the council, it should be responded to right away. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be told, well, we'll tell you later. And then later it never comes. And, you know, you close the meeting and the topic isn't covered. Um, I have several questions that I would have liked to have gone over. Uh, is a dog park functioning? Uh, is uh, because Hudson Farms no longer having the, um, the hike, are we going to get some money from them in, in lieu of the hike? Uh, these are all, I think, are good questions. Oh, there's a dog in here. Who let the dog in? Uh, <laughs> who let the dog out? Well, yeah. uh, My puppy guy. I'm calling uh, uh, the, the, that was very timely. And the uh, COVID inoculations for, for, we have a lot of senior citizens. I had to go all the way up to the, uh, the uh, what do you call it? The uh, <coughs> fairgrounds. It would seem that we, there should be a place that the county could run closer so people from Hapakon could get to it, especially the senior citizens. Uh, so, um, on the gun range, we haven't heard about recently. Is there, is, I think, you know, these topics are, would be of interest to the public. Is it possible to cut, go back to good and welfare session, a um, agenda session, and look to five minutes? Uh, I don't think that many people uh, are responding, and I think we're all very polite. I can't hear you. No, they're not talking. Oh. It's still you. It's still on. Oh, I still have. They're waiting for you to finish. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, okay. So I think the feedback of the of the public of the citizens of the taxpayers is important to you, and I I think you should be open to as much as they want to contribute. Thank you. Any more public? Mayor, I don't see anybody. We're done. Well, oh, David, yes. David, you have my email. And you can talk about anything you want in your five minutes. Not limited to one subject, limited to one time of five minutes. Uh, and so I can't tell you what I don't know, but I will give a report at the end of our meeting about the paving. That I do know. And so... Uh, and, and so in, in five minutes, you can say a lot. If it's a very important issue, uh, I'd like emails so I can, I can have a paper trail of that. And so there's nothing you can't talk about. And we have reports on the, on the dog park. The dog park is still under construction. Uh, again, if there's nothing to report, my committee doesn't report. So uh, I hope that helps you. You know, it, 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 it's always an open forum. Uh, and like I say, I'm always available. And if you talk to anybody that knows me, you get a hold of me, I'll give you all the information you want to know. So uh, did we have a, uh, did we close, we closed, did everybody, uh, is everybody in favor? Yes, we, we, we did that. Yes, we did. All right. So that's an example that, uh, we, we officially closed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can't talk this phone off. So, wait. Mayor? Mayor? Yeah. Do you want me to just give a quick thing on the dog park? Um, yeah, go ahead. But just that, uh, to answer Dave's question on the dog park, that's proceeding. Obviously, we, we had got out from underneath all the snow we had this winter, and with the melting and everything, like the, the actual uh, back on snow, uh, difficult getting in there, but finally got in there and removed the old uh, uh, handball court. Uh, have the fencing already priced out, and the installation uh, is is going to be scheduled very soon. And this open as much as possible. And going back to scouting, we have a scout. Who, part of his project will be working on that, uh, helping building different things in the uh, uh, dog park, and uh, looking forward to uh, working with him. And uh, that's just a quick update. Did right, you take you. down the basketball court too? Not at this time, Jim. We're leaving that. We're not 100% sure how that is used, but we've made an L-shaped 
dog park. The little part of the L is the small dog park, and the big part of the L, if you would, will be the large dog park that will run the entire width of the field. Right. The basketball court's going to stay there. Yes. Okay. Right. Yeah, the Councilman uh, Johnson, they have, I haven't seen a soul play there yet. We had the nets off of it for about six weeks, and I never got a call. They broke them off, and I don't know there's a lot of activity on those basketball courts at all. But we'll keep them up and see what happens. Thank you. All right. Uh, approval of minutes. I'll entertain a motion on a minute. I'll move them. Second. Call the roll, please. Hoffer Camp. Yes. Ms. Johnson. Yes. Ms. Roberts. Yes. Mr. Schindler. Yes. Mr. Smith. Yes. Mr. Young. Yes. Uh, resolution 2021-62, approval of the build list. Um, thank you, Mayor. Does anyone need anything removed or discussed? Not hearing or seeing any mayor, I'll move the bill list. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Started. I'm sorry. I had I questions. I didn't unmute myself. I apologize. <clears throat> I was talking. Um, I'm sorry. Um, I have three. Where are they? I marked them. Ah, uh, here they are. Um, 21 00514, 21 00515, 21 0516. The question I have is the PO date on those four five, correct? Which means that was that paint that was made on those days for those three? Does anybody know the answer to that question or no? Say it again, Jim. What what the ones are you looking at? Twenty one dash zero zero five one four. 515 and 516. That's when the PO is established. We got open POs, so I'd have okay. to go back and look. We have blanket POs. So okay, no, 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 those aren't blanket POs because those POs yeah. are resolutions here. So the PO doesn't mean that it went, it was paid. It means that there was a purchase order right. created until we pass exactly. the resolution to release that money. Yeah. Got it. Okay. I am I don't have any other questions. Call the roll, please. Do I have a second? Second. All right. Mr. Hofferkamp. Yes. Ms. Johnson. Yes. Ms. Roberts. Yes. Mr. Schindler. Yes. Mr. Smith. Yes. Mr. Young. Yes. Uh, approval, approval of the consent agenda. So, so moved. Second. Call the roll, please. Mr. Hofferkamp. Yes. Ms. Johnson. Yes. Ms. Roberts. Yes. Mr. Schindler. Yes. Mr. Smith. Yes. Mr. Young. Yes. Ordinances, there are no introductions. Final hearing, ordinance seven. 2021 auction of 6 Francis Avenue, block 10106, lot 15, an ordinance of the Borough of Pacon, County of Sussex, New Jersey, authorizing the sale of certain property owned by the borough and not required for public purposes, more commonly known as 6 Francis Avenue, block 10106, lot 15. So moved. So move it. Second. I'll open up to the public for any questions or comments. Hearing none. Move to bring it back. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Call the roll, please. Mr. Hockham. Yes. Ms. Johnson. Yes. Ms. Roberts. Yes. Mr. Schindler. Yes. Mr. Smith. Yes. Mr. Young. Yes. Ordinance, 20, uh, Ordinance 8, 2021, non-sufficient funds fee amendment, an ordinance of the Borough of Packline, County of Sussex, State of New Jersey, Amending Chapter 108 fees regarding non sufficient fund checks. So moved. Second. 
Mr. Hoffman. Uh, no, I'll open that to the public for right. uh, questions or comments. Not hearing any? Move to bring it back. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Call the roll, please. Mr. Hofferkamp. Yes. Ms. Johnson. Yes. Ms. Roberts. Yes. Mr. Schindler. Yes. Mr. Smith. Yes. And Mr. Young. Yes. Ordinance 9, 2021, auction of 130 West End Avenue, block 11009, lot 19. An ordinance of the Borough of Pacon, County of Sussex, State of New Jersey, authorizing the sale of certain property owned by the borough and not required for public purposes and more commonly known as 130 West End Avenue, Block 11009, Lot 19. So move it. So move. Second. I'll open that to the public for any questions or comments. Hearing none. Move to bring it back. Second. All in favor? Aye. Call the roll, please. Mr. Hofferkamp. Yes. Ms. Johnson. Yes. Ms. Roberts. Yes. Mr. Schindler. Yes. Mr. Smith. Yes. Mr. Young. Yes. Or Mayor, if I may, if I may to, to add, if you could add, the auction will be the next meeting. Okay. On these two, the two pro properties that were on tonight are going to be on auction for the next meeting. Okay, thanks. And what is that date? Oh, Val, I need your help. I think May, May 5th. May 5th. Okay. I, May, I don't have the calendar in front of me, but um, May 5th. May 5th. Great. So, May 5th is the auction date. Good. Thank, thank you. you. Please show up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna include that on final when we all probably we'll include that date on the actual uh, right. final reading. Thank you. Ordinance uh, 10, 2021, amendment of, to sewer fees. An ordinance in the Borough of Pacon, County of Sussex, replacing section 186-9A of the code of the Borough of Pacon. So moved. Second. I'll open that to the public for any questions or comments. Look Hearing to bring it back. Yep. Move to bring it back. Yeah. Second. Call the roll, please. Mr. Hofferkamp. Yes. Ms. Johnson. Yes. Ms. Roberts. Yes. Mr. Schindler. Yes. Mr. Smith. Yes. Mr. Young. Yes. And by the way, that ordinance reduced the store fee by $15 a quarter. Ordinance 11, 2021 cap bank calendar year 2020 ordinance to exceed the municipal budget appropriation limits and to establish a cap bank uh, as per NJSA 40A colon 4-45.14. So moved. Second. Call the roll. Or I'll open that to the public for any questions. Hearing none. I don't see any, Mike. Hearing none. Move, move to bring it back. Move to bring it back. Second. Call the roll, please. Mr. Hofferkamp. Yes. Ms. Johnson. Yes. Ms. Roberts. Yes. Mr. Schindler. Yes. Smith. <laughs> yes. Mr. Young. Yes. Resolution 2021-63, authorizing a tax overpayment of 100% disabled veteran exemption to block 11007, lot one. So moved. Second. Call the roll, please. Mr. Hofferkamp. Yes. Ms. Johnson. Yes. Ms. Roberts. Yes. Mr. Schindler. Yes. Mr. Smith. Yes. Mr. Young. Yes. Resolution 2021-64, authorizing a tax overpayment of 100% disabled veteran exemption to block 2004, lot six. So moved. Second. Roll, please. Mr. Hofferkamp. Yes. Ms. Johnson. Yes. Ms. Roberts. Yes. Mr. Schindler. Yes. Mr. Smith. 
Yes. Mr. Young. Resolution 2021-65, authorizing a tax overpayment of 100% disabled veteran exemption for block 30401, lot seven. So moved. Second. Call the roll, please. Mr. Hoffer. Yes. Ms. Johnson. Yes. Ms. Roberts. Yes. Mr. Schindler. Yes. Mr. Smith. Yes. Mr. Young. Yes. Resolution 2021-66, Authorizing assignment of tax sale certificate 14 00122. So moved. Second. Call the roll, please. Mr. Hoffer. Yes. Ms. Johnson. Yes. Ms. Roberts. Yes. Mr. Schindler. Yes. Mr. Smith. Yes. Mr. Young. Yes. Resolution 2021-67, authorizing a tax overpayment of 100% disabled exemption for Block 10713, Lot 6. So moved. Second. Call the roll, please. Mr. Hofferkamp. Yes. Ms. Johnson. Yes. Ms. Roberts. Yes. Ms. Schindler. Yes. Mr. Smith. Yes. Mr. Young. Yes. Resolution 2168, authorization to participate under the state health benefits plan. So moved. Second. Call the roll, please. Mr. Hopperkamp. Yes. Ms. Johnson. Yes. Ms. Roberts. Yes. Mr. Schindler. Yes. Mr. Smith. Yes. Mr. Young. Yes. Resolution 2021 69, state insecure community grant application. So moved. Second. Call the roll, please. Mr. Hofferkamp. Yes. Ms. Johnson. Yes. Ms. Roberts. Yes. Mr. Schindler. Yes. Mr. Smith. Yes. Mr. Young. Yes. Old business. New business. I promise to be very brief. <laughs> the date there are from January 4th till today, there are 940 positive cases in a pack. Please be careful. It's not over yet. Uh, we're hoping that it does get better. Uh, just in April alone, we're, we have 119 cases. If it stays on that track, we should be less than last month. So I'm hoping and praying that that the vaccinations work. And by the way, if you go to Walgreens in town, they are doing vaccinations. They've been doing vaccinations since the state approved. Uh, and they do have a, a site where you go register. Uh, hopefully that helps. Uh, this year, the initial report on paving is 18 streets. Uh, unless something drastically changes, like the price goes crazy on the paving. This paving proposal is based on, on the price of, of blacktop. If it goes up, we're going to pave less. Uh, we'll publish this. Uh, we'll put it on the website. But briefly, it's Hilltop Road, Air Castle Isle, Skyline Drive, Columbia Trail, Temple Trail, Nebraska Trail, Missouri Trail, Toledo Court, Apron Way, Mountain Trail, Larson Trail, Loyola Court, Lincoln Trail, Lincoln Way, Stanford Trail, uh, Broadway, Monroe Trail, Durban Avenue, from Apachong to Windsor. So that should complete that. But we'll, we'll post this. I, I hope that's, that's helpful. Uh, lastly, uh, the Habakkuk has been the benefit of what they call the survival tree. When 9-11 happened, there was one poor tree with a pear tree that survived. The state of New York took that tree and it recovered. It was in pretty bad shape. And every year, the, uh, the 911 Museum Foundation uh, picks three or four communities and they get a seedling from that tree. And this year, back on, we'll be receiving a seedling from that tree. I don't know the exact time we're gonna pick it up, uh, but I will ask our fire department to go to Queens York, along with, I think, I believe, Stanhope, and pick it up, and we're going to have a ceremony. 
the tree will be planted in Fireman's Park uh, to honor our, our volunteers and our first responders as it should be. Uh, so with that being said, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. So made. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. I'm going down to Firehouse.